Well, you got Lamar this weekend. What have you seen from them in preparation? Uh, Lamar, they do a lot of twist game. Um, so we're gonna have to learn how to block movement. So the Scott team, they do a good job of drawing the uh, the, um, the schemes up and stuff like that. So uh, get repetitious, of course, just going through the reps and stuff like that so we can get used to the movement, blocking movement and being on everything that we need to. What's your impression of how your team has responded to, to getting such a big win over the weekend? Is the focus and all that kind of been there this week? Uh, the focus has been there. We can tighten up a little bit more. But um, for the most part, guys are locked in, especially our defense and our offense. They're, they're, they're doing everything that they can in their power to make sure that everybody's on the right accord and that everybody's on the same same page as far as going into this game. Um, the one no, yeah, it, it, it's good that we won the game, but at the same time, we got to take it week by week. And um, so Lamar is the team on the, on the map this week, so that's what we have to work on. It sounds like from Coach Trailer that you guys have been exposed to some interesting imagery regarding this whole cheese situation, maybe some digestive stuff. But what's, what's uh, the yeah. messaging been it's, like uh, this it's week? Just, it's just the constant pace. He just don't want nobody biting the cheese. Biting the cheese, basically, yeah, we beat a big team. But at the same time, you still got to stay humble and stay, you know, and just keep more moving forward as far as with the process and when uh, the next game. And so that's what we're focused on. Is that easier said than done? Uh, no. All it is is just staying focused. That's really what it is. Um, you can, you, it's a choice at the end of the day. Um, so you can choose whether to take the bay or you can choose whether to stay on the right path. It's all in the power of choice that you, that you have. So and right now we're taking the right steps to go ahead and focus on the mark. Does, does that get easier, though, as you become more mature, as you kind of grow through the ranks and become like a senior, whereas maybe some of the younger guys kind of buy into that? Uh, that's where seniority comes in. Um, you're not a big brother, a little brother type deal, but at the same time, um, you gotta you gotta lead them in the right way. Of course, they're young minded, so therefore you want the older guys to be able to be there as a supporting factor, just to show them that this is what it is and it's not what it's not. You know what I'm saying? That's where leadership comes in. That's where our guys play a great part in doing, make sure that we stay focused and stay on the, and on the goal. What are your expectations for the kind of support you guys will have in the Alamo Dome this weekend? Uh, I would hope that it's packed, but whether I, I, I would love for the Alamo Dome to be packed um, to the ceiling, to the roof. But if that's not the case, at the same time, we still got to go out and we have to maintain the goal, which is to win the game. What does the fan support do for you guys? What kind of impact does it have on the program if you're able to pack the dome and get that kind of attention? Oh, it brings total energy for both sides of the ball. And um, it's just a great atmosphere all the way around. Um, guys are going to be flying around in the field, going to be flying on the sideline. And then we just want y'all to come out and enjoy the game, just watching us um, play football, do what we do. As a local guy yourself, is it important that San Antonio continues to develop that connection to the program? Is that something you think oh, about? Oh, yeah. San Antonio is growing. Like I said, it's the seventh largest city in, 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 the, world, in the U.S., if I'm not mistaken. So um, it, it's, it's, it should be a, it play, it's a huge factor in our success as a team. And I'm just getting the support from the fans and stuff like that. It just shows that they care and that they're coming to the games and supporting us. It's just going to be a great atmosphere all together. What was it like for you Saturday going through some of the injuries and the shuffles we saw on the offensive line? How did that impact the group? Uh, it's a next man up mentality. Uh, that's why that's why I practice. Coach, Coach Maddox does a great job rotating guys so they get the amount of reps that they need in order to be prepared for Saturday. So, uh, yeah, it was a little shuffle around, but at the end of the day, they came in, they had the job done in order to produce, and that's what happened. Were you happy with how the group played despite that? What was your kind of impression of the performance overall? Yeah, the, the, the group played real well, as, as a matter of fact. Uh, we were getting a lot of movement yeah. off the ball. Yeah, we'll Guys were that picking that up stunts and stuff like that. Um, we had little leakage, but at the end of the day, it didn't play like a huge part or a major pack in the, in the game. And uh, we, we made the adjustments at halftime. We made the adjustments on the sideline because Max drew it up. He gave us the right calls to make and stuff like that. And then everything was flowing from there. Is it tough for some of those guys who are not in the starting role there to come in and, and produce at a high level, or is that an easy enough thing for them to just, just jump in there like, uh, like a starter? No, they're going to have to jump in there like a starter. Um, the game doesn't slow down for anybody at the end of the day. So like I said, if he puts you in there, you, you're, you're expected to maintain and do a job that, that, that a starter would have to do. So he would just want you to get in there and perform to the best of the ability. That's what we mean by next man up mentality. He has to be your, your third string or your fourth string or your second string has to be just as good as your first. Cool. Thanks.